Well, glory to God. Welcome once again to Power of Faith. I'm Pastor Philip Durber with my lovely wife, Alberta Durber, and we are just delighted to be able to share with you the truths of God's Word once again. Luke 1, 37 says, For with God nothing shall be impossible, and it's June 10th, thankful Thursday. How are you today? I'm thankful. Did you enjoy service last night? I did. It's good to see everybody. It was great to see everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, that preacher was that preacher was on fire last night, wasn't he? Everybody was on fire last night. It was good. That was the kickoff. And what we're talking about, we're talking about the St. Petersburg Camp Meeting at Exceeding Grace Christian Center, pastored by our son and daughter in the faith, Pastor Jonathan and Kimberly Anderson. Great church, great, oh, great people. Oh, just wonderful. But these just, are great meetings, so we, mm -hmm. we're really not going to get into all the meetings. We're going to get into the word of righteousness. The way to righteousness. Well, I'm still hung over from last night. Okay, let's get into it. Because <laughs> we talked too much about that, and then we... we well, if you're in the St. Pete area. Get to the meetings. Get into those if meetings. If you're not, get online. Yeah. Live stream. Right, right, I right. Mean, Yes, you don't want to hear about it. You don't want to. Do you, I don't want to hear about what God did somewhere or what He was doing. I want to be there. I was, I want I was never. I was never a yeah. sideline party. Me neither. I was always right in the right middle. Right in the middle. I was the one throwing the party. Yeah. yeah. So you know, I hear you. we always we always had the goods, mm -hmm. and we have the goods now. We're God. Yeah. So you know, don't just wait to hear. You know what's going on. Get there. Mm -hmm. Either way, and when you go online, get your Bible, listen to praise and worship. Just stand up, start praising and worshiping. You know, Pastor was talking about years ago, way back. Uh, we got a hold of a whole um, convention of a uh, Kenneth Cut and Gloria Copeland uh, Believers Convention. We got all the CDs, DVDs. DVDs? Mm -hmm. I mean, DVDs. Yeah, what am I saying? And uh, uh, some friends of ours gave us their uh, cabin in Maine to stay for, I don't know, a week, week we were there. And, um, and that was right before 911, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. And uh, we were up there, and morning, afternoon, and evening, we put our the uh, CD, our DVD player outside on the deck over the water and wow, uh, we, we stood up and praised or we stood up when they said stand up and we'd give when they said give and we'd sit and read the word and get excited then we'd go to lunch and then come back for the meetings and, mm -hmm. and then we'd go to dinner and come back and participate. Don't be an observer. You don't get anything mm -hmm. just observing. So get get yourself ready, get your Bible, and uh, sit there and get, participate in the meeting. And expect God, if you're online, expect God to come right into your room, right where you are. And he will. If you expect him and you're believing and you're, and, and you're opened up to receive him, he's going he's gonna to show up. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's all there is to it. But if you just say, uh, hold on, then you know, you're... You're eating popcorn, and uh, no, that that's not how you do it. Or M and M peanuts. Well, we better get into your meddling now. <laughs> I love my daughter. Okay, so really, you know, if you if the only way you could be there is online, go just you know get dressed, you know get dressed like you're going to church. Give God something to work with. Go exp get there expecting. And you'll receive. June 10th, huh? Okay. This is you. It's me. Okay. Our, our scriptures from Psalms chapter 4 and verse 5. Offer the sacrifices of righteousness and put your trust in the Lord. Thank you. Do you know that there will be times you're not going to feel righteous? Ha. Huh. <laughs> More times than not. Really, that's the truth. Mm -hmm. But faith is not a feeling. That's right. 
Yes, sometimes you won't even feel saved. There are times I don't feel as if I'm married. But... But my name alone tells me I am. <laughs> <laughs> when I wake up in the morning with Philip sleeping in my bed, I know he's my husband. And even though I may not feel married, I am. It's the same with righteousness. There are times we have to offer sacrifices of righteousness. We start thanking and praising God that we have been made the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. No matter how we feel or what the enemy is telling us, we just keep offering up praise and trusting in the Lord that he's made us righteous. Mm -hmm. Many times, praise is a sacrifice, especially when we don't feel righteous. But what do feelings have to do with anything anyway? It's by faith. I started out saying what I ended up saying here. It's by faith that we receive the things of God. So awake to righteousness and receive. The sacrifice of righteousness. Mm -hmm. The Bible talks about the sacrifice of praise, sacrifice of joy, sacrifice of thanksgiving. Here's the sacrifice of righteousness. Lord, I thank you I'm a new creation in yeah. Christ Jesus. I thank you, Lord God, I'm an overcomer. That's right. I'm more than a conqueror. I thank you, Lord God, I'm just as righteous as Jesus. And you don't feel anything. Nothing. But and then you walk in that. Mm -hmm. That's this is this is why it's so important uh, in Romans chapter twelve, where it says, "Be not conformed to this world, but be transformed, transformed. by the renewing of your mind." <clears throat> So that you may prove that you may prove demonstrate. what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. And uh, where is it? I think it's in Ephesians. I'm not put on the new man. No. Where it talks about having your mind renewed. Where is that, Eric? Uh, Oh, there it is. I got it. In Ephesians chapter 4, verse 22 says that you put off concerning the former conversation, the old man. You can't talk that way, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind, and that you put on the new man, which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. Now, I remember... Which Years ago God. when I read this, it says be renewed in the spirit yeah, of, your mind. of your mind. Well, that, that, that. That, that your spirit's not in your mind. Yeah. <laughs> See? And the when I read that, I'm, I'm like, what in the world? Be renewed in the spirit of your mind yeah. because your mind is part of your soul. Your soul is your mind, will, and emotions. And here it says, be renewed in the in spirit, spirit of your, your spirit. And a lot of times we say our soul because we identify with thinking brain up here. But uh, in our mind, will, and emotions. But it says, be renewed in the spirit of your mind. So I went to God with that thing. And I started investigating and diving deep down in it. And what it actually says in the in the original Greek and, and so on and so forth, it says, be uh, renovated in the intellect mm -hmm. with spiritual things in your That's mind. Really in other words, what it's saying Where did is... Where you get that? Was that the Amplified Classic? Or? No, no, it's in the Greek. When okay. you take those Greek words right. and you study it out, and plus the Holy Ghost, so you can renew your mind with... Uh, Watching Baseball. something on, yeah. Watching something on TV. HGTV. Right? But it says, be renovated mm -hmm. with in, with spiritual, your spiritual intellect. See, be renovated in your mind spiritually. That's why the Bible says to be spiritually minded. It's see, life. is life in peace. So your mind now is thinking spiritually. 
Well, when your mind is thinking spiritually, then you'll make spiritual decisions because it takes your your chooser, your will, is either going to choose with your flesh or choose with your spirit. It's going one or the other. And if your mind has not been renewed to new creation realities, then you're going to choose flesh because you're going to want the easy way out. Yeah. Especially when you're not feeling it. And this is where the sacrifice of righteousness comes in. Wait a minute. You've had your mind renewed that you're a new creation. You had your mind renewed that he that knew no sin became sin, that you could be made the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. And you put on the new man. You said, no, no, no. no. I choose. I choose to walk in my righteousness. Your spirit's like, okay, I agree with that. And now your flesh just got voted out. Two against one. Exactly. See? And so uh, to be renovated in your intellect with spiritual things is what that is talking about. You know, when you renovate a house, you take everything completely out. You em- it's an empty shell, a house. You take, you, when you, you renovate it. Watch this. You gut it. You gut it. Exactly. That's what I meant. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. So that's what you have to do. You have to God totally wants to gut, gut us. Yeah. Gut you that old man out of it. You can't anything in there. You know, I, I can good. remember when the Lord showed you know, me. You know, uh, um, uh, God wants an open floor plan. Yeah. He doesn't want, yeah. he doesn't want things walled off okay. in these little but, you hideaway know, I rooms. I remember when I, he was first teaching me this, and I first got a hold of this renovating and gutting out. I mean, he would say things, you know, the soul, you, 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 it, no, this is don't go, don't freak out because you, you even have to, like your family that you grew up in, you can't look at them the same way. Not, that's if that's not, not, if they're, not if they're not like precious faith. Mm-hmm. You love them. But it's like you taught me down, years down the road. I have relationship with them, like with my mother. I had a relationship, but none. Even when she got born again, yeah, she yeah. didn't know enough. But I had no fellowship mm-hmm. because we just talked surface things. Mm-hmm. We couldn't get deep into the things of God because she mm-hmm. didn't know it. Mm-hmm. But we have to empty, you know. Well, that's my mother. That's my, you know, or that's my birthday, or that's my anniversary. My husband didn't do anything. Yeah, that's all trash. It's trash. Yeah, well, we're talking about when well, you're not feeling it. Yeah. You don't, you're not, you just ain't feeling. You don't feel like you're on top of your game. You got to offer up right? that sacrifice. Yeah. Sacrifice righteousness. Get that righteousness lamb and lay now, on listen. the altar, boy. <laughs> well, listen. Listen. Well, listen. Jesus sacrificed Shh. his life. Hello? We can't crucify our feelings we can't we can't simply by faith sit there and say i am the righteousness of god in christ jesus i don't care how it feels at the moment i don't care what it looks like no thank you lord i am a new creation i just want to praise you for that i just want to worship you for that i thank you for it i thank you i'm i've been Totally transformed by That's your power. Right. I've been regenerated by That's the Holy right. Ghost. That's, That's a not sacrament. my life. I got myself dead to that. That's not me. I don't know that person. Yeah. But that's that's the sacrifice yes, it is. of righteousness. It says offer. Yes, you gotta offer it. The sacrifice of righteousness and put your trust in the Lord. If everything, if our righteousness depended upon oh. us feeling good. Oh God. It it would be like this, but when you when you will walk in your righteousness over a period of time, it'll affect your feelings. In other it's words, everything. in other words, the the enemy won't have access exactly. to bumming you out exactly. with old man stuff. Exactly. Right. 
but uh, the sacrifice of righteousness, hey, okay. It's like when I used to, um, when I was a sinner, a drug addict, uh, I used to love to walk around stoned out of my head. And I used to like to look. I, I wanted to look seductive. This is how I, now when I would see little girls walking around like that, my heart, I mean, it's repulsive to me. My heart aches for those, those little girls, mm -hmm. you know. It's just like, because I know where they're at, mm -hmm. you know. And, and, and I'm like, oh, baby, if you only knew, you know, if you only Well, you said in, you said in your uh, portion there that you might not feel married. But the truth of the matter is uh, you can go to bed feeling married, but you can wake up the next, but that has nothing to do with it. Your last name's Derber. Yeah. You may not feel healed. Yeah. Don't make a difference. God says you are the healed. Mm -hmm. He said you were healed 2,000 years ago. And righteousness. What he says is true. Righteousness opens up the floodgates for the blessing, for the, for the manifested he promises. He says you're rich. He rewards us according yeah. to our righteousness. And so when you're offering, walking? look, it, it don't take no faith much when you're feeling good. good. When you're feeling righteous, when you're feeling... When you don't have no yeah. pain in your body, you don't have no black devils on your shoulder mm -hmm. screaming at you and everything. I mean, it's just one of the... It, it don't take no faith. None. But that's why the Bible says fight the good, good fight, fight of faith and offering up a sacrifice of righteousness, you willfully, willfully choose to do that. Exactly. And when, when you're learning new creation reality, you're going to have to do that a lot. A whole lot. But what happened when we first learned casting down? I mean, it was, it was like 24-7. Well, still is if, yeah, if it's still. I mean, that's still. But, but, is but it's an automatic always, thing now. Yeah, it should be. Mm -hmm. But you know, oh, it's like how many times I did that forty-five thousand times today. Mm -hmm. You know, why is this thought still here? I would go. I would get. You know, but it's you. You have to keep doing it until well, you have the victory. The enemy wants to see. Yeah. How it, much stick it to you got, right? No, well, he'll. He's. He's sometimes more persistent but that than a scripture, lot of believers. Read that scripture again. Offer the sacrifice of righteousness and put your trust That's the part. in the Lord. That is. Okay, I Lord, this, 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 this is where I'm trusting you. Yeah. I don't. I'm not feeling it today, but I'm trusting it what your word like. says, and I'm offering up out of the trust of what I have. Read and know within, even though my feelings are going contrary. I got contrary emotional Means. winds blowing. Yeah. I'm offering up righteousness. You know, it reminds me of way back at the farmhouse when the Lord was telling me, you know, after he put our marriage together, I, you know, I still wasn't convinced and I still didn't know you know what to do and you convinced and, now don't you I'm convinced <laughs> <laughs> uh, and he's telling me that I had to trust you with finances and I said God this he's a boy I'm a lot older than him and I've been around longer I lived on my own for years he's always lived with somebody that took care of him and his mother the the armed forces or, or girlfriends. And, you know, he never had any responsibility. And he said, Alberta, I'm telling you that you have to trust him because in trusting him, you're trusting me. So that made a whole different ball game. You understand? I had to trust God that he was work, that he did this and that he was working in you. But I had to trust him that he's working in me to do that. And that was, that's what he's saying right here. I mean, that's it. 
I'm righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. <laughs> Don't you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just funny when you said uh, he's just a boy. I was 29 years old. You were a boy. No. You were a kid. To you, maybe. 29 is no. not a kid. No, no, but you were because you had no sense. Well, that's, what, that's, that's your concept. Yeah. Well, that you had no sense of I was running a whole flight line at 26 years old. Stoned. What kind of responsibility? I knew how to. I knew how he to work. Did. I knew, he knew how, how to work. work. But anyways, uh, but the sacrifice of righteousness the Lord. will override. You know, on when I was working on airplanes, they had uh, like when the cargo doors on a C five wouldn't open, it wouldn't working properly. The C five, the big one. The big one. Oh, Jesus. They had override buttons. Oh, you're talking about when you were in the... And air these air override airplanes. buttons, if you knew how to override... In other words, you should be able to hit the switch that says open. Yeah. And when it wasn't unlocking and doing properly, or something wrong. Yeah. But we got to get we gotta, we gotta get this cargo doors thing. open. There were overrides. Okay. And these buttons over here bypassed the switch. Okay. And went straight to unlock the door, or in, or vice versa to close them up. Uh, you know, you you had to get them fixed eventually, but you could still open and close them by putting your thumbs on what was called the override. So when our soul is not functioning, feeling right, there's an override. Trusting in the Lord. You sit there and you offer up sacrifice of righteousness. righteousness. In Jesus' name, I trust you, Lord. Yeah. I'm the righteousness of God in Christ. You're hitting overrides. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden those doors start swinging open. The, the locks, see on that C5, those massive doors, once they close, then they lock. Yeah, I, I forget, imagine. like they got like 28, 30 locks. Something. It's, locks. It's, oh, it's massive. People don't know what, what, if they don't know that airplane, they don't have a clue. I mean, they could think of any airplane, but this airplane was bigger than this church. It was bigger Huge. than... Huge. I thought well, at that time at Kwajalein, I was walking down towards the airport, and it was... The C5 was getting, the, the, the noise was tremendous, the sound. Uh -huh. I mean, but then it looked like the airport was taking off because it was bigger than the airport. Oh, yeah. And it looked like, I mean, this thing is massive. Mm -hmm. But it has army tanks in it, airplanes. Whatever you want to put in it. Yeah, that's how big this baby is. Longer than a football field. You know, it, need, it definitely needed big locks. But the point, but the point yeah. being, our emotions yeah. can try to not open up. Or not close, whichever. And yeah, you can say. hit the override. The override, you use your faith and you offer up the, the sacrifice of righteousness. righteousness. Father God, I come before I you, you in Jesus' name. And I know I'm the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. And I thank you for it. I walk in my new creation. I'm buried. That old man's buried with Jesus in baptism. I'm raised again in resurrection life with Jesus. And I'm walking this day in newness of life. And I just praise you for that, and I thank you for it. That's how that thing, that's the sacrifice of righteousness. See, but we're out of time today. Tonight is the second night of the St. Petersburg Camp Meeting at Exceeding Grace Christian Center. Get there, and either way, online, when you go online, if you can't, if you're not in the area and you go online, it's like being there. If you go at the right, uh -huh. go well, expecting and yes, get your Bible and, yes, and participate. You, you know in the service. What what happens in these meetings usually? Everything keeps building, keeps building, keeps building, and uh, you know what what happened last night. We can expect at least that plus, you know, and plus or multiplied rather, right? But uh, it's just wonderful to have heaven on earth and uh, sure. watch God touch not just 
the people there, but I'm getting touched as well. Absolutely. I ain't missing out yeah. on nothing, yeah. right? And then uh, our prayer line is there, available to you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And uh, that's how we came into the kingdom, you know, watching television, prayer line. And so uh, the people on, on our prayer line, they know how to pray effectively, and they, they know uh, how to pray with you, for you, whatever the situation may be. We just had that woman that uh, got yes, healed sir. of, of uh, bone, cancer. bone cancer. Hallelujah. But anyways, our time has gotten away from us. Yeah. Hope to see you tonight one way or another. Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 4 says, For the word of a king is, There, there is, is power. power. Be a blessing. The Power of Faith programs are available on YouTube 24-7. So you can watch from anywhere at any time. Search for Power of Faith on YouTube or go to youtube.com forward slash power of faith. Subscribe and click the bell to make sure you're notified whenever new episodes are posted. If you missed the episode or you just want to go back and watch it over and over again, the Power of Faith YouTube channel is there for you.